So my first question is, how are you doing? I'm good. Has it been a busy day? Yes, very. What's something amazing that has happened this month? Oh, I was just telling Ryan, I went to Algonquin Park and got to see the fall colors. Oh, nice. And how do you start your day? Oh, a cup of coffee. Okay. Yeah. And how do you end your day? Oh, not a cup of coffee. Uh, <laughs> reading a book. And what do you do here at McMaster? I'm a professor. And how long have you been working here at McMaster? This is my third year. And do you eat organic foods? Sometimes, depends. Okay. Yeah. And what differentiates organic from non-organic foods? Um, it's a good question. Um, we have an actual certified organic stamp Okay. Um, that gets applied to some products. Um, so I'm not you know, sure how well that's regulated, but I understand that companies have to apply to get that stamp put on their products. Okay. And where would one purchase organic foods? Um, luckily, we can purchase, this, purchase them all over the place these days, um, from a place like Fortino's to a specialty foods place, kind of like Goodness Me here in Hamilton. Um, so they're becoming more widespread. Okay. And do certain foods benefit from being organic more than others? Yes, actually. Now that you asked that, I was actually just looking at the Dirty Dozen. Okay. Do you know what the Dirty Dozen is? No. No? All right. So according to the um, Environmental Working Group, uh, which is kind of a conglomeration of experts looking at various different topics, there's the Dirty Dozen. So these are the dozen foods that people should think about consuming that are organic. Hmm. For example, strawberries, spinach, nectarines, apples, really anything that you eat that um, you'll also be eating the skin of, it should be organic or you should choose organic more often than not. Grapes, peaches, cherries, pears, tomatoes, celery, potatoes, those are grown in the ground, uh, <laughs> bell peppers, as well as hot peppers. And are there health benefits to eating, eating organic? Organic products sometimes are more expensive, so you have to find that balance. So if you're spending all your money on a few organic products, is that gonna yield good health? Probably not. It's probably better to be selective about the organic products that you buy so that you can continue to include um, lots of different varieties in your diet. Okay, and what does eating local mean? Eating local? Oh, that means many things to many people. Um, have you heard of the 100 mile diet? No. No? So that's eating foods within a 100 mile radius. Um, and are there benefits to eating local? Yes, definitely. I think um, beneficial for the economy, um, but also beneficial from the standpoint of environmental emissions. If we think. And what does GMO mean? Oh, GMO, genetically modified organism. Okay, and does organic mean GMO free? Oh, no, hmm. no, I don't think so. Okay, and do you know why organic food is more expensive? I think organic food does take more care to to make. So. And are there such things as organic seeds? So I suppose that if you were to harvest like apple seeds from an organic apple, then that would be an organic seed. And what influences the nutrient content of produce? Yeah, that's a good point. Um, so definitely the travel or the time from picking the fruit or the produce to eating the food, um, that will influence the uh, nutrient density. So the longer that you're waiting in that time, the lower the nutrient density. Okay. And how can I be sure organic food is safe? I think that we can have more confidence in eating an organic apple compared to an, or compared to an apple that has been covered in a... Um, a film to make it look shiny and that has been sprayed with pesticides. You know, the organic apple is not going to look as pretty, but the um, organic apple is going to likely have a higher nutrient density as well as going to, by consuming that product, you're not going to be consuming some of the possible chemicals um, that are on the other apple. And what should I be looking for when selecting foods? Always try to fill your basket with colors of the rainbow. And I think that that's an easy way to ensure that you're getting a nice spectrum of nutrients. Um, when you're kind of checking out, making sh make sure that you have more produce in your cart than pre-prepared pre goods. Okay, and can you cook? I can. 
Do you enjoy cooking? I love it. And are there are, and are pesticides in general something we should be afraid of? So we don't know the impact of pesticides on our health, but I think some animal work might suggest that they're detrimental to our health, and so we should just be aware of what's on our food and choosing organic, especially if we're talking about the dirty dozen, um, choosing organic when we can, if our budgets are permitting that. And how does one limit their exposure to pesticides? Um, I think choosing organic is a, is a good choice to try to limit pesticide um, intake. Yeah. And do you think organic food tastes better? I think some organic food tastes better. I can taste a difference between organic bananas and non-organic bananas. Oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Party trick. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So some diets emphasize eating organic. Why do you think that? Um, they, they may want to maximize the possible benefits that people may get from a diet, so they might suggest organic. But again, there's no real study to show that someone who consumes organic food is going to outlive someone who doesn't consume organic food. Like, there's so many other factors that influence health and well-being. Um, okay. And then it also might make the diet seem really appealing because it's trendy. And is there any one thing that you would want people to know about organic food? Um... Well, I think that we should just be thinking about trying to choose organic food wisely. So if we're talking about the dirty dozen, try to choose those organic foods when you can, if your budget permits. But if it means cutting out all of the other good things that you're out eating in your diet because you're spending all of your money on organic food, then that's not a good choice. Also think about when you pick up a pack of organic granola bars, how different is it from the non-organic granola bars? Is that really where you should be spending your money? And is wine organic? Oh, there are some organic wines, yes. <laughs> okay, and what are you reading right now? I'm actually reading a book for, well, not for my cardiovascular class, but about cardiovascular health, uh, and its name escapes me. Hmm. But one of my favorite books is actually on the shelf over there. Uh, bloodletting for Miraculous Cures. Mm. I don't know if you can yeah. see it, the red one there. Just okay. below my mindfulness book. <laughs> hmm. Can we find it? Oh yes, it's on the right hand side, yeah. And what do you think the future of organic food looks like? I think that we're going to continue to see um, other products that are called organic in the food and the marketplace, even in cosmetics and in wine and well, in beer, you know, we'll continue to see um, things that are s called organic but don't necessarily have that organic stamp. Just yeah. think, thinking if I have this, um, yeah, there's is the organic stamp there. Mm. So that's what we'd want to be looking for. Um, there's the GMO stamp there. And do you think the organic trend is going to end soon? I don't think so. I think it's just going to keep growing because I think manufacturers know that they can make money off of that word. And what are you most excited about in life right now? Um, being here at McMaster. What's something you'd still love to learn? Oh, I would love to learn an instrument. And do you ever take time off? I have to, yes, <laughs> yeah. And what's a restaurant everyone should go to? In Hamilton? Yeah. One of my favorite is Chima right now on Lock Street. Interesting. Yeah. And what's your favorite thing to do with friends? Oh, just hang out. Maybe have a bottle of wine. Oh, well. Thank you <laughs> Yeah. And do you have any hidden talents? Hidden talents. I play basketball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my final question to you, yep. Dr. Pritchard, yes. is what is your favorite food? A pasta. Definitely any pasta, but a baked pasta is one of my favorites. Well, hopefully you'll be going to Italy yes. soon again. Yep. And thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Yeah, no problem.